everybody welcome for this uh sort of little special video on a movie i adore dearly and that is nightmare on elm street part four the dream master now when i was a kid you know i first saw the original nightmare on elm street movie um right when it came out on video uh i did not see it in the theater so it scared the crap out of me but at the same time i sort of became fascinated by freddy and sort of the whole mythology of, of Freddy and everything. And then shortly after Nightmare 2 came out, and then obviously everything sort of rolled out from there. And like a lot of other people, I became a massive fan of Freddy Krueger. Ironically, I was already a fan of Robert England because I was a huge fan of the miniseries V. So I remember finding out that he played Freddy Krueger. It was like, Willie from V, really? That's... You know, it's kind of one of those where I appreciated how good of an actor he was, even at a very young age, to kind of jump from a role like Willie, where he's kind of very innocent and sort of comic relief a bit and things like that, to, you know, a very dark character like Freddy Krueger. And now I actually saw um, all the early Nightmare on Elm Street films I saw on video, on, on VHS. So I sort of saw the evolution of... Freddy Krueger from being this horror character to being almost like a pop culture icon. And that basically happened between the first film and the fourth film, that sort of whole journey. And I was a huge fan of each films with, um, at the time, one and three being my two favorite specifically. I never actually had a problem with, with two by, by any means. Um, I still like that it was scary, but, um, kind of thing but you know there is something special about past the first film about three and then going into four where it was very much like this is the pop culture icon freddy krueger and i remember when nightmare four opened and it opened on august 19th 1988 and i was downtown um chicago with a friend and his family and we were at, I can't remember what the heck we were at. There was something that the family was doing. And my friend asked me if I wanted to just kind of tag along and just sort of hang out. And I was like, sure. Where we were downtown across the street, there were two movie theaters. One of them was showing Phantasm 2. I remember being very excited. Like Phantasm 2, I think, had been out for uh, like two months by that point or something. Maybe a little over a month. I can't remember. Somewhere around there. But um I remember I was very excited. I was like, oh my God, Phantasm 2 is showing over there. And my friend asked me about that. And I I was a huge fan at that point, even of the original Phantasm. I'd actually seen it on originally on TV um, back in 86, I think. Completely fell in love with it. And so I was trying to... So you can imagine a kid trying to explain to another kid what Phantasm was about, which is not very easy. So... Um, I don't know if that actually helped the situation any. I think even by the end of my explanation, he was like, I don't I don't understand. But then in the other theater, they were showing Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, and we were both Freddy Krueger fans. This was Friday. For, if I remember correctly, this was actually the Friday, like the day it opened, and there was a line going around the block to get in to see Nightmare on Elm Street 4. And I remember we were begging his parents to take us to go see it, and uh, obviously they didn't so because I did not actually see Nightmare on Elm Street 4 until it came out on video although I do remember interesting thing about Nightmare 4 is, is at the time you know when movies came out on VHS uh you know they came out almost like a year later it you know it wasn't like you know three months later all of a sudden they're on video like it was you had a long time to wait and I remember Nightmare 4 was one of the early films where at least it seemed like because I think it came out like December of 88 came out, you know, mid August and then came out on video December. And that was like a big deal at the time because the thing is Nightmare on Elm Street 4 was a huge success. It was not, you know, a bomb by any means. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think outside of Freddy versus Jason, I think it's the highest grossing nightmare film or the second highest grossing nightmare film. Might be a second after the first film. It's either the highest grossing or the second highest grossing. But I remember it came out on... VHS and you know day one I was there you know renting it from the video store taking it home and I just watched it you know it was a time you know you rent something for like the weekend and I would I watched it like over and over and over again I just absolutely loved it and like a lot of you I mean you know my fandom of Freddy Krueger knows no bounds so 
I uh, just kind of wanted to make just a special sort of tribute because this marks the 30th anniversary of Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. And I also want to actually share something that happened last summer. So last summer, I was in the middle of moving from Chicago down to Texas. So I actually was never able to do a video on Flashback Weekend, the convention I go to every year. Um in Chicago and they had a Nightmare on Elm Street 4 reunion so I figured I'd just kind of also take a quick moment to just sort of showcase that that I was able to meet the cast last summer and it was very very cool I have this photo op of them which is awesome I th these are like my favorite when I get these group photo ops this one is really really special to me because in Nightmare 4 again as much as I love the other films and I do and I would say you know three and four like, if I absolutely had to pin them down, I would probably go one, three, four as my top three. But even then, because of there's something special about Nightmare 4 for me, where sometimes, you know, three and four kind of tie for me as far as my favorites of the series. So Nightmare 4 actually does have a lot of kind of personal meaning for me. So this photo op specifically is really, really special to me. Um, now, some of you may be noticing that Kelly Jo Minter is there too, who is in Nightmare 5. So they had a couple cast members from some of the other films there as well. So I got this photo op on Friday and they just rounded up people to, to get the photo op and they grabbed her for the photo op even though technically she wasn't supposed to be in it. But you know what? I don't care because I was actually really happy that she was in it because this was this was the first time I had never met her at a convention. So I'm actually, even though she technically is, even though she's not in Nightmare 4, she's in Nightmare 5, I was still actually really happy she was there for this photo op. And as you can see, although it's a little bit obscured in the picture, here's the photo op as well sitting on one of my two... Uh, Nightmare sort of Nightmare on Elm Street shelves, as you can tell, has a bunch of different things, including my original VHS copy uh, and my VHS copy of the making of those. And I've had those since I was a kid. Also, in the background on the right, you can see my VHS copies of Nightmare 3, which was actually a rental copy I got as a kid and Nightmare 5. That um, was also the uncut version. You know, I've had all these since I was a kid. Uh, in the background, there is the re-release Mondo version of the Freddy's Greatest Hits LP. That's not the original version. And then some of my original soundtracks and uh, and stuff in CDs and also the big CD box set that has all the soundtracks in it and everything. And the Tuesday Night uh, Nightmare 4 CD that has uh, the original version of her song in Nightmare 4, including some sort of alternate versions and everything. And that was actually sold directly from her. And I was actually the first one to actually get it. I remember she actually did a video on Facebook sort of being like, okay, the first order going out is, and she said my name. I was like, holy cow. Here's my other Freddy shelf. As you can tell, there's my Nightmare on Elm Street, my original media Nightmare on Elm Street VHS that I've also had since I was a kid. I remember getting that at a Peaches record store. And there's the original uh, audio cassette of the soundtrack and um, Elite Laserdisc back there. And there's my photo op and autograph of Robert England at Flashback Weekend when he, when he donned the Freddy Krueger makeup. That was back at Flashback Weekend in 2014, which was a sort of special thing where where they offered it i mean it was quite an expense but you know i there was no way i was going to pass up this opportunity you know because of the meaning behind it it's definitely one of my favorite photo ops maybe my favorite photo op of all time as you can see there in the front i have a freddie replica glove which actually i did get last summer at flashback that's modeled more after the nightmare 4 one which actually my two favorite gloves of the entire series are one and four. Even though there was a one glove there, I kind of lean towards the four because I've always loved the burnt design on the glove from part four. And as you can tell here, here is my autographed poster. of the. I do have actually every single Nightmare on Elm Street poster and Freddy vs. Jason poster. At some point, this became a kind of a weird goal for me to try and get every poster from Friday the 13th and a Nightmare on Elm Street. And I have actually succeeded, believe it or not. Now, I'm not getting all of them autographed. Um, I do have first film posters autographed, the second film, um, and Freddy vs. Jason. Um, I have autographs on, and then Nightmare 4. So, and pretty much I have almost everybody. I don't have 
I'm still missing some people on the poster. Like I don't have Ron Eastman or uh, Ken Segos from who were returning from part three. It'd be nice to get those two um, on it. Although I know they're not like huge fans of part four. So I don't know if I necessarily need them. I would love to actually get Ronnie Harlan. If I ever get the chance to meet Ronnie Harlan, I would love to get him on the poster. I mean, to me, that would kind of pretty much like kind of close out my Nightmare 4 poster. So I just want to do kind of a just a video on the uh, anniversary of Nightmare 4. Again, 30th anniversary. It's sort of hard to believe. I've just, I've always been a huge fan. It was nice that um, even though I had met some of the cast members before, it was really great to do, um, to meet everyone else at the reunion at uh, Flashback Weekend last year. The film just has a lot of special meaning for me, so I just kind of wanted to give it sort of a special shout-out today. So happy anniversary, Nightmare 4. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you on the next one.